Okay, let's uh, take a look at step 37. And step 37 is taking our lovely wheels and tires that we pre-glued now, and we're gonna put them to the axles, basically the front axle and the rear axle. We're gonna be using these A5 parts, which are these little boys over here. We're gonna be using also the pins, the two by 10 millimeter pins, the BB3s, uh, which is these little guys over here. And we're also going to be using the wheels that we made, which is these bad boys here. And not forgetting the nylon nut uh, BD4, which is a four millimeter nylon nut, which is these guys here. And we're literally the four corners of the car putting on the bearing, which we are not using the plastic ones. We're going to be using the metal ones. Um, so those are these guys here. Bring them into play. There you go guys there and we're going to put them into the chassis and put the wheels on you could use your buck spanner which is this guy here or in my case i will use this guy here there we go let's do that now all right so let's show you how to do this you quite easily take your bearing um, you don't need to grease in my case because we're using a proper bearing as opposed to the plastic bushings, which you know I've been throwing away. So you pop your bearing in, like so. Then you take one of your pins, a little bit of a pin here, so just push and collect it, put it through the hole. So you now have your pin through there. You then take one of the A5s, which is these guys. You pop that over until it locks on the pin. And then you take one of your wheels and tires and you place that over the top, locate the the axle so you got it correctly on the hex take one of your bd4 your four millimeter locking nuts and screw that into place and it's a case of screwing that in place for the nylon portion so you in effect you're making sure you just nip it up there you go done so that's that one let's show you again shall we do it on the other side so take one of our bearings like so, pop that into the hole, into the carrier. Take your pin, and you just take your, give a bit of press, there you go, your two by 10 millimeter pin, pop that through the hole. And the idea is, you should pop that through the hole like that. Okay, there we are. Take your A5, which is your hex, over the pin, Take one of your tires and wheels over the hex. Take one of your four millimeter nylon nuts, screw that into place, and okay, you go. Okay. And tighten that up till it stops. All right. Easy as that. Okay. Do the same for the other two wheels at the back, and I'll be back to you in a second. And there we are. We now have all four wheels onto the car, as you can see, all done. And all we've got to do now is tidy up some of the wiring, and then we'll move on to the next step.